What was most challenging in learning to ask for help when things got tough? And how did that breakthrough moment come about? You know, I've had some things happen in my life um, growing up where I just kind of tried to trudge forward and I didn't want to make it harder for, you know, my loved ones or my parents or my friends, whoever it was. So I always, I never would ask for help. I thought that it, that strength to me was never asking, having to ask for help. Like that in my mind growing up was how I, what I equated to being a strong person and that's all I wanted to be. Um, and then I learned very quickly when I went through uh, my divorce and I felt like I couldn't get I just didn't know how I was gonna like put one foot in front of the other or how I was gonna breathe or what I was gonna do um, when I separated from my ex-husband and I didn't tell anyone until it was final that what had happened because I wanted to protect him and wanted to, you know and I continued to like go to work every day and to pretend everything was fine and when people finally found out they said to me Hattie I'm so sorry, but if anyone will be okay, it's you. You'll be, you'll do great. Like, let me know if there's anything I can do, but if anyone can make it through this, it'll be you. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't feel that way at the time. I felt like I was going to die of sadness or a broken heart. And it was really hard for me. I thought, what have I done in my life that people don't realize how hurt I am right now? Or the fact that I'm not, maybe not going to be okay. But I was, and like I got out of bed and I moved back to New York and I started my life again. And then I, the real turning point was I was climbing and got in an accident and I dislocated and shattered my left knee. And I was with my cousin and her boyfriend at the time. And I said to them, when they asked me if I was hurt, I said, I think I hurt my leg, but I'll be okay. I can walk out, I'll, I'll be fine. And because I knew it was after dark and there was no tree clearance and I couldn't be airlifted. And um, I walked out four miles on it, on a shattered, dislocated. I mean, I put my knee back in place, but there was like no bone left. And um, as a result, I ruined my left leg. <laughs> I went to the doctor. He was like, honey, after what you've been through, you can give birth to 10 kids. You won't feel it. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, I don't know any crazy lunatic who would walk out on a shattered knee and not say anything and not cry. And um, I should have just in that situation told my cousin and her boyfriend and that I was really hurt and I didn't. I didn't ask for help because I thought that would be the strong thing to do and as a result I ruined my leg. And that was actually the point in my life where I realized that it actually takes a lot more strength to admit weakness and to ask for help than it does to put up that facade um, because I was so stubborn and kind of weak in that and couldn't just, couldn't just cry, and couldn't just say, I'm really hurt, like, get me out of here. Um, I destroyed my left leg. And uh, it took me three years of like insane, crazy physical therapy and four surgeries to even get it back to normal again. And that's just because I couldn't ask for help. And now um, when I see people who, you know, can cry and ask for help, I, I think that that's a level of strength that I really admire. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. I'm working at it. <laughs>